Hi, everybody. I recently spoke with wife and husband duo Nicole and Corey Jansen, who are the co founders and co CEOs of Alta ML. We spoke about the evolution and future of Alberta's artificial intelligence ecosystem and what they see as the industries that AI will have the most transformative impact on. We also spoke about what it's going to take for Alberta and Canada to be as competitive as possible in the global AI space, as well as their advice for Canada's present and future entrepreneurs. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Nicole Jansen, co-founder and co-CEO at AltML. Hi, I'm Corey Jansen, co-founder and co-CEO of AltML. Well, Nicole and Corey, thank you so much for taking the time. I really appreciate you doing this. Um, I wanted to start quite simply by allowing you to introduce uh, yourselves and the company that you co-founded, AltML, and also give us an insight in terms of what it does uh, with artificial intelligence. AltML is uh, what we call an applied AI studio, and we focus on building applications that have machine learning at the core. So we bring industries, data, and domain expertise together with a startup's agility and machine learning expertise so that we can build those applications in partnership. Great. Thank you, Nicole. Um, so how would you describe Alberta's AI ecosystem, both in terms of its strengths and its weaknesses? I think the glass half full answer would be that Alberta is the hidden gem of Canada's AI uh, ecosystem. But you know, maybe you could call us a late bloomer with a little bit more of a pessimistic side. So there is more potential in Alberta than we think anywhere else. Most people in, in Canada don't even realize that the pan-Canadian AI strategy actually has three legs to its stool. It's it's not just Toronto and uh, Montreal, but also out west, especially sent, uh, headquartered in Edmonton around the University of Alberta and Amy. We think that there's more opportunity here than than almost anywhere else because you've got that that the academic excellence that is providing these amazing ML engineers. And we're really starting to see that market uh, to, to take off. Uh, we're starting to see the big capital raises. That's always been the big barrier. But now that we see that both at the seed level and larger raises, um, there's more opportunity here than anywhere else in Canada, we would say. Great. As two people who are really uh, dug into Alberta's business ecosystem, what do you identify as the key industries or the main industries that are set to be the most transformed by AI? Uh, and which are you most excited about? Well, certainly Al Alberta is known for its energy industry. And so there is a ton of data in that space. I think what a lot of, of, of people don't fully recognize, though, is how many of those cases are really built around ESG and clean tech and the energy transition. Uh, in addition, I think that there's a, a lack of understanding of the amount of opportunity within industrial AI. So slightly different, but adjacent to energy, there is so, think of any industrial process, uh, the, the, the stuff that we actually live on, right? And so whether that's mining or, or, or the uh, lumber industry, uh, we've actually just started a joint venture in that space with a partner, Spartan Controls. We're more excited about industrial AI than almost any other industry with one exception, and that's health. Many people don't realize that Alberta has one health authority. And so on paper, we should be the perfect sandbox for the commercialization of AI um, and health tech applications. Um, there's a lot happening there. Um, you know, Nobel Prize winners uh, at the U of A recently and these amazing researchers in so many areas. Bringing those pieces together, we just salivate at that opportunity over the next few years. The other thing that our team gets really excited about are those impactful use cases. So all of the traditional industries, uh, AI is a horizontal enabler, so it can help any industry. Um, but I do have to admit, our team gets really jazzed about health, like Corey said, safety, uh, ESG, all of those areas that, that you feel like you're really improving um, society as a whole. In terms of making Alberta and Canada as competitive as possible, uh, on the AI uh, global stage. What do you think has to be done? Education is key. And we're chipping away at that one step at a time. But I, th I think there's more that can be done there. But we are competitive on the world stage in academia and research. 
we are attracting some of the best talent globally to to Alberta and to Canada. Uh, we can't squander that though. There was an investment made for decades that got us to this point and attracted the right researchers to then attract the right students. But if we don't continue to put investment into that, we will lose that. Um, and at the speed that other countries are putting investment into AI, we need to we need to hurry up. Um, we can't keep waiting and thinking that this great asset we have is just a permanent asset. But we also need to get industry and government up to the same level as academia. They're not there yet. We are not on the world stage in those areas. I see an opportunity for government to really demonstrate the innovative thinking themselves within and sort of be leaders there. Let some of that new technology be tested in their environment. Might be just simply testing, um, but there's a wealth of data there. There's a wealth of opportunity and a ton of use cases. Um, and so if the government can do it, then I would think industry will really recognize they can do it too. I think uh, most answers that I have, that I ask uh, entrepreneurs such as yourselves about the government and and how it's doing will probably start with slowly. <laughs> I think that's I think that's a given. But I'm glad it's it's slowly but surely. You're saying it is moving in the right direction. We've seen in many instances when you find the right person, we've seen more risk taking sometimes in government than outside. I think it's a bit of a stereotype. You know, often in the private sector, when you need to have return this quarter or next quarter, it's tougher to, to, to take a risk on something like AI. We've had some really great projects with government locally, um, one in, involving predicting uh, wildfires and, and where we should optimize the use of equipment that, that have gone really, really well, as good as anything in the private sector. The other thing for us to compete on the world stage, though, is we need to get some swagger. Um, we... There's so many Canadian companies who think that the epitome of success is to sell to a U.S. firm. And then all of those wealth, that wealth, the jobs, the IP, all leaves Canada. Um, Corey sold Investopedia uh, many years ago uh, to a U.S. company. And we know now after watching what they did, you know, which was very successful, but we could have done that too but we didn't believe that we could. We hope that some other Canadian entrepreneurs uh, start getting behind that and seeing that we do have the opportunity in Canada to really make these very large companies and, and be successful here. As Albertan trailblazers, entrepreneurs in this, in this new frontier of AI, um, what advice would you have for future entrepreneurs in the province or in Canada uh, who, are, who are looking to make bold decisions, bold investments, as you have, and really define uh, the next period of our future economy. Start now. If you've got an idea, don't, don't hold it back. Go out there. And the way you start is talk to a customer. Go make a sale. You know, there's lots of good programs and support and this and that, but like, you know, don't ask your parents. They're going to tell you it's a good idea. There's nothing quite like pitching that idea to someone and, 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 and hoping they open up their checkbook. Um, and then second is, is don't sell. Once you're on that roller coaster, just keep on going. Understand, even if you think this is, hey, I'll never be, I'll never be able to build this bigger. We'll never be able to take this. You know, like, like let's, look at, let's look at Shopify and take some inspiration from that. Like I'm proud as a Canadian. I have no connection whatsoever to this company, but I, I love that Shopify is Canadian. How do we build 10 more Shopify's? That's what the entrepreneurial ecosystem should be getting behind. As serial entrepreneurs uh, from Alberta, um, what do you see or what do you identify as unique in terms of the entrepreneurial spirit or the business ecosystem uh, that exists in the province? You know, Alberta's always been a little bit of an outsider, right? We're kind of, it's, and, and I think part of it is just that when you look at the agricultural roots and there's, you know, a little bit of that, you know, Mavericks or that outside, you know, it's, we're always kind of looking in, right? And I still, I think that that infuses a little bit of the entrepreneurial mentality. And so these amazing networks of trust that were developed in the energy industry, we're starting to see that now come into tech. 
So things like the Creative Destruction Lab, CDL, that's now uh, a great Canadian program that's now out west here as well for the last few years. Things like that have really brought together those communities to bridge the gap between the older traditional industries and, and the newer ones. And so I think that we can keep a little bit of that sort of maverick mentality and that'll serve us well. The other thing about Alberta is that the ecosystem is very supportive of each other. Entrepreneurs are trying to help other entrepreneurs um, boost them up. The network within Alberta is large enough to be impactful, but small enough to really have a strong network. You're not going to go to, um, you know, a business event without knowing someone there. And, you know, that allows that support uh, to really grow quickly. And so I think that that is of key advantage to Alberta, that we aren't the big guy, but we're big enough to be impactful. Nicole and Corey, you've given me so much, so much time already, and I really appreciate it. But I want to ask for 30 seconds more, and, and 30 seconds, really, if you can. Uh, and that's for you to make a pitch to someone or a group in a position of power in Canada and in Alberta to make us world leaders uh, in terms of AI. So I'd like to know who you would pitch and what you'd urge them to do now. The who is all of them. Industry, government, and academia have to be at the same table regardless. You can't do one at a time. You have to do them together. The what is Canada has the talent, the research, and a blossoming AI industry. And it has the potential, because it's widely dispersed across the country, to unite us as a country. Uh, so much, so often you see provinces pitted against each other. Let's fix that through AI and have a common goal together. We have the uh, ability and opportunity to be the leader in responsible AI globally. All the other big players cannot claim that responsible piece. That responsible piece is ours, and we need to grab a hold of it. <laughs>